hello students in different fields of mathematics we have different types of requirements like in calculus we are interested in measuring the change in one variable with respect to the change in the other variable when these two variables are connected especially by function this change is called this relative change is called rate of change of one variable with respect to the change in the other variable change in the dependent variable y with respect to the change in the independent variable x now there are two ways to measure this change uh, we have uh, in fact two types of uh, uh, changes one is uh, average change over an interval over an interval of independent variable and the other is instantaneous change at some point let's let's understand this uh, with the help of uh, one continuous function here we have graph of continuous function y is equal to fx okay function is continuous uh, means uh, function is well defined at uh, each point and uh, has a limiting value equal to value of function at that point uh, function har ek point pe continuous hai yani ki har ek point pe function uh, well defined hai aur uh, us point pe function ka value uske limiting value ke equal hai okay now consider some fixed point uh, a on the curve having coordinates x comma fx and variable point b to the right of a having coordinates uh, x plus h comma f of x plus h here h is positive okay because we are considering point uh, b uh, to the right of a okay now we join these two points we have a second line ab slope of this second line is slope of uh, line ab is f of uh, x plus h minus f of x over x plus h minus x this is uh, equal to uh, f of x plus h minus f of x over h okay uh, this is a uh, change in value of fx uh, it is denoted by delta fx delta fx means change in value of fx and uh, this h is change in value of x means delta x okay so we have ratio delta fx over delta x this ratio is called average change in value of fx or uh, uh, value of y with respect to change in value of x over uh, uh, an interval uh, we have uh, interval uh, x to x plus h is interval mein ye ratio fx ka x ke respect mein average change hai theek hai now we draw tangent to curve at point a we have a unique tangent line at point a okay now let's find slope of this tangent is tangent ka slope nikalte hain uh, we have a second line ab and a tangent to curve at point a okay now to get the slope of tangent uh what we do we uh, shift this point b along the curve towards a and uh, put it so close to a that it's become difficult to distinguish this points ab point b ko point a ke itna close leke aate hain ki jisse in dono points ko alag alag dikhana hamare liye mushkil ho jayega agar aap isko microscope mein dekhenge if we see in the microscope then we will be able to see this uh, two different points okay but uh, on this scale uh, this points uh, uh, seems to be almost coincident not exactly coincident almost coincident point b point a ke bahut hi pass okay means here value of h is approaching to zero when h approaches to zero point b comes very close to point a okay and uh, uh, second ab almost coincide with the tangent second ab jo hai uh, wo tangent ke sath coincide kar jayega okay that means uh, slope of tangent to curve at point a will be slope of uh, second ab when h approaches to zero a uh, slope of tangent will be limiting value of uh, uh, this when h approaches to zero okay so we have slope of tangent is equal to 
limit h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h or limit h tends to 0 of delta f x over delta x. This is slope of tangent. Uh, this is a limiting value of uh, this ratio. Okay. This is called d f x by d x. This is called d f x by d x. d x means infinitely small change uh, in value of x in value of uh, independent variable and this is infinitely small change in uh, value of function. Okay, This ratio is called derivative of fx with respect to x. This is called derivative of fx with respect to x. This is uh, also uh, dy by dx because uh, y is equal to fx. Okay? Uh, we can write like this also uh, d by dx of uh, y or uh, d by dx of fx. Derivative of fx or y with respect to x. Uh, this is a instantaneous change in the value of y with respect to x at point A. Ye point A pe y ka x k respect me instantaneous change. Hai. This ratio is average change over this interval okay and this ratio is this ratio is instantaneous change uh, of y with respect to x at point a okay this derivative is also uh, written like this and read as y prime y prime or y dash then this is uh, f prime x or f dash x okay sometimes we write uh, y1 y1 means uh, first derivative of y with respect to x we are differentiating function fx first time this is called first derivative okay so we write y1 now this is called first definition or first principle of derivative study of derivative starts with this limit so this is called first definition or first principle of derivative and this process of finding derivative uh, is called differentiation okay ye jo process hai hum usko kya kehte hain differentiation kehte hain and uh, derivative of a function uh, with respect to x is actually slope of tangent to the curve Okay. Uh, function ka jo derivative hai, wo kya represent karta hai? It represents slope of tangent to the curve. Uh, this represents slope of tangent to curve at point A. Okay. Now in this, if you replace x plus h with y, x plus h ko hum y se replace karte hain. x plus h is now y. Okay. Then uh, this limit changes to when h approaches to 0, y will approach to x. So, uh, this limit will be uh, limit y tends to x of f of y minus f of x over uh, y minus x. Okay? We can uh, uh, put this in this form. Okay? Now, here point b is approaching to point a from its right hand side. We can have point B to the left of A also. Point B, A ke left hand bhi ho sakta hai, okay. So, consider here point B to the left of A having coordinates x minus h comma f of x minus h. Here h is positive, so point B lies to the left of A, okay. Now, slope of uh, second line AB is, slope of uh, the second line is uh, f of x minus h minus f of x over x minus h minus x means uh, minus h. Okay. Now, if we move point B along the curve towards A uh, and make h tends to 0, then second AB will almost coincide with the tangent line. Okay. So, slope of this tangent line will be limiting value of this ratio. Okay. So, we have slope of uh, tangent line is equal to limit h tends to 0 of this. Again, this is slope of tangent to curve at point A. Okay. Here in this case, uh, point uh, B is approaching to A from its right hand side. Okay. So, this derivative is called 
right hand derivative this is called uh, right hand derivative we write r h d okay and uh, uh, for this limit point b is approaching to point a from its left hand side okay so this is called left hand derivative isko hum kehte hain left hand derivative when we write lhd okay and we can see that here uh, when h approaches to 0 second ab has tendency to become tangent to curve at point a whether b is coming uh, from its right hand side or from its left hand side okay and we have a unique tangent at point a tangent line is always uh, unique okay if it exists then uh, these two values will be same a point a pe ye dono values same honge kyunki tangent line to unique hota hai theek hai so at point a we have lhd is equal to rhd at point a function is continuous and has a left hand derivative equal to right hand derivative in that case we say that function is differentiable at uh, that point yahan pe point a pe function differentiable hoga differentiable means uh, function has derivative at that point okay then what is the uh, condition uh, for differentiability function must be continuous and must have lhd is equal to rhd in fact uh, at each point on the curve a uh, function is differentiable at each point we can draw a unique uh, tangent to the curve because curve is smooth okay uh, such function is called differentiable function A differentiable function has derivative at each point uh, uh, in the domain. Domain के हर एक point पे function को uh, tangent uh, available है, tangent draw कर सकते हैं। तो हम उस function को कहते हैं differentiable function. Okay? Now in this chapter, uh, we are interested in finding a derivative of function using first definition of derivative and using different rules. Okay? So we will be handling mostly differentiable function. हम मोस्टली डिफ्रेंशियबल फंक्शन को हैंडल करेंगे जिसका डेरिवेटिव हम इस डेफिनेशन से या फिर डेरिवेटिव के रूल से निकाल सकते हैं ओके टेनिमस एक्स फंक्शन की इंटीग्रल वैल्यूज क्या होंगे देर विल बी थ्री इंटीग्रल वैल्यूज माइनस वन जीरो एंड वन विड्रॉ लाइन्स वाई इज इक्वल टू वन एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन